In 2013, Kentech Inc. released a groundbreaking conversational 3D programming option for our Kipware M, which is our conversational CNC programming software for milling. Our conversational options allow users to create standard 3D shapes like troughs and cones and tapered pockets and tapered bosses just using a simple fill-in-the-blank form. Our conversational options are the only conversational 3D options available on the market whether in a control-based conversational package or in a PC-based conversational package. In today's video we're going to take a look at how we would machine this curved surface using the conversational 3D options in Kipware M. We've got a part that has an 18 inch radius. It's 18 inches wide and 25 inches long. We're going to put it on the table. This is the x-axis. We're going to put some square stock on the table. We're going to put a couple of toe clamps on each end. We're going to come in with a 1 inch flat end mill and we're going to rough the radius. And then we're going to come back with a 1 inch ball end mill and we're going to go in the y-axis, incremental steps, and finish the radius. And again, this is going to be all be done in a conversational menu. I'd like to uh, just ask you to take a look as we're going through and creating the program of how quick we're going to actually create the program to machine this complex shape using the conversational screens. It's actually going to take us probably less than three minutes to be able to create a program to rough and finish this shape uh, using KIPWRM. So let's dive right in and let's, uh, let's see how we would create that G-code program. So here we are in KIPWRM on the main screen. Uh, these are our standard conversational screens. If I select the 3D option here, we can change the screen to the conversational options. And you can see we have a tapered cone, tapered hole, tapered boss, tapered pocket, a horizontal and vertical troughs, a male and female bending die, a bowl shape, and then here's our curved surface. So I'm going to load this. I'm going to call it the Curved Surface Rough. And all I have to do basically is go through, fill in the blanks, select my type of machining, and then create program. So the center of the part is 0, 0. Uh, the top surface of the finished arc is a 0. Uh, it's called a clearance plane of 200. The length of the stock is 25 inches. The radius is 18. And the height is 0.4501. The width of the part is 8 inches. We're going to take 25 thousandths depth of cut. And what that means is uh, basically when we rough this shape is the cutter is going to work its way from the outside into the arc on each side of the part. So it's going to take 25 thousandths each time as it goes down in Z as it works its way and roughs out the radius. <laughs> this is going to be just a roughing cut so I'm going to leave the uh, finished depth of cut out. The radius of the cutter is a half an inch. Uh, the overlap, I'm going to use 20,000, so as the cutter moves in from the outside in, it's going to leave a 20,000 overlap between the last cut. We're going to leave 10,000 on the surface for finish. Any time the, the tool needs to wrap it around the part, we're going to use a clearance of eighth of an inch. And now we need some speeds and feeds. So we're going to use Kipware CSF, which is our speed and feed wizard. I'm going to pull down aluminum. I'm going to select a carbide end mill and I'm going to calculate. So the software is going to go through and look in our database, come up with an RPM and feed rate based on that database, and then I'm going to record it, which is going to put it into the form. So speeds and feeds are now done using uh, the speed and feed wizard. Uh, the part is not rotated, but let's say the part was kicked off at 45 degrees. Uh, we could basically just input 45 degrees and take care of that uh, inside the software. So I'm going to use con conventional roughing. I could use climb roughing if I'd like. I'm going to use a square end mill and I'm going to hit create program. And that's it. The G code gets created to rough the part. So I've already created the program to rough machine. Basically took us maybe a minute if I wasn't talking. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to call it curved surface finish. And now I've just copied this roughing to this finishing cycle. So I don't have to change any coordinates, but I have to input some finished stuff. So I'm going to use a, a 2,000 step over uh, as we finish the part. Uh, the overlap, I'm just going to use, uh, so I'm going to select ball end mill, and I'm going to select the radius cut. So there's a couple ways we could finish it. We could finish it going along the x-axis, or we could finish it with a radius cut, which comes along the arc along the y-axis. 
which is going to leave us with a better surface finish, so I'm going to select that one. When I hit the Speed and Feed Wizard, now it knows that we're finished machining. So again, select my aluminum, select my high-speed steel end mill this time, because we're going to use a high-speed steel ball end mill to finish it. We're going to calculate it, so it's going to give us some speeds and feeds, and then it's going to throw it up in the form for us, so we've got speeds and feeds. Create program. It's going to tell us that uh, for this particular cut, remember that the programming point is the center line of the ball, which is fine. And we're done. So basically, we've created the G-code in that amount of time to rough and finish that 18-inch radius. I'm going to come into my main program option and I'm going to link some tools now to those two programs. So I'm going to use tool number one, which is G54. I'm going to use a clearance plane of an inch. And for tool number one, I'm going to associate that with the rough program. So basically just double click the tool, the uh, tree and load it into the tool. I'm going to select tool number two. I'm going to use a clearance plane of an inch again, and I'm going to make tool number two do the finish of the cut. So tool number one is the one inch square end mill to rough it, tool number two is the one inch ball end mill to finish it. I'm going to give it a program number and hit create g-code. Done. Now we have the g-code combined into one program that's going to rough and finish that 18 inch radius. I'm going to save it save it in my temp folder. I'm going to save it as my curved surface. And now I'm going to bring it into a simulator and I'm going to show you what the toolpath is going to look like. Okay, here we are in our simulation software. Uh, we've got our stock defined as 25 inches long, 8 inches wide. And we've got our tools defined. Tool number one is the 1 inch flat end mill to rough. And tool number two is the 1 inch ball end mill to come in and take a finish cut. So we're ready to start our, our simulation and the first thing we'll see is the roughing tool which is going to start from the outside and work its way in on each side of the part. So what it does is it comes in and does a cut, comes the other side, does a cut, comes back and does a cut each way because we've selected either a climb or conventional milling and every cut will be uh, either a climb mill or a conventional mill cut. And then the ball end mill will come along the arc this way and finish. So let's take a look at what we're seeing. Here's the roughing tool. Each time we're taking 25,000 step to cut uh, along each one of those. And then we're coming in with the ball end mill and we're taking a finish cut, 2,000s increments uh, to be able to finish the arc uh, along the Y axis. So I'm not going to bore you with watching the tool path. I'm going to pause the video and pick it up when we're just about uh, to the end so you can see what the finish uh, tool path will look like. Okay, we'll pick up the video or the animation, it's just about to finish. And uh, the runtime for this particular part, according to our animation software, is probably about 65 to 70 minutes. Uh, but we've taken a 2,000 increment all along uh, this 18 inch arc, uh, all the way down the 25 inches. And we've created this complicated program in less than three minutes using Kipware M with the groundbreaking conversational 3D options. So I want to thank you for uh, watching our video, and uh, if you have interest in Kipware M, please visit our website at www.kentechinc.com, and that's K-E-N-T-E-C-H-I-N-C.com. Thank you.